I'm Gabby Wilde, a global, thrill-driven, wind-blown, aspiring veterinarian. I've traveled the world in pursuit of aiding animals, from everything from elephants to equids, cows to canines, on four different continents. I hope you enjoy my journeys into the wild. And yes, I'm speaking to this one in Spanish. This is a spectacled owl and he is from South America. These two owls in the back are barred owls. That is a red-tailed hawk, a Harris hawk, and a little hybrid made of deer falcon, peregrine falcon, and a few other things, I believe. And I'm a human. I'm Gabby Wilde. And I'm here at the Cornell Raptor Barn. These birds are teaching birds that are used for public teaching. And it is a wonderful program here that we can allow undergraduate students to get hands-on abilities to work with raptors, these birds of prey. And what really defines a raptor is not only that they eat meat, they eat meat by killing it with their feet. If you notice, they're very, very sharp talons. And they also have these hooked beaks, which allows them to tear and rip the meat. They have exceptional eyesight and hearing. These birds can see about three to six times better than a human. Some eagles can even see eight times as better. Eight times better. And also their hearing is so good because, for instance, with owls, their feathers are arranged in a facial pattern that allows for the best triangulation of the sound. And another wonderful feature about these birds is that they, they each have a niche in how they see. Some see better in the daylight, so they're diurnal. Others see better in and night, and they're nocturnal like our owls. There are basically five different types of raptors, and you can identify them based off of their silhouettes when they're flying. That's normally if you're in the wild where you'll see them flying. So they're budios, they're, they're about medium to large sized, and they have broad wings, and their tails are round and wide. And eagles have very large, dark brown patterns and they have wings that are proportionately larger to their own body size and of course the big famous ones are the golden eagle and the bald eagle and occipiters are small to large size they have shorter wings and they have long tails like rudders that help them maneuver through forests because that's mainly where they live and then falcons a beautiful type of bird that tends to be small to large size you can get some large sized ones with very long and pointed wings and the tails are tapered off and this assists with being extremely fast that's why they are able to dive and get their prey and owls are very famous their eyes that are not really on the sides of their head but they tend to be directly in front of them they have usually round squared heads and they really rely on stealth to hunt you really will never hear an owl until it goes woohoo woohoo and that's why they're so successful besides being nocturnal and brilliant creatures. The great diversity of raptors is what makes them such rich and cultural birds. Their uniting features, despite such differences that they might have between one another, are so distinctive and it's wonderful that we can just get a brief taste into what they're like and I'll see you guys on the next episodes about raptors and their involvement at Cornell University. Stay wild!